Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got bunch of uh, these uh, line segments uh, A, B, B, D, and uh, C, D fully confined in a quarter circle. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment A, B length is uh, 9 units, whereas uh, this segment B, D is uh, 16, and finally, this segment C, D is uh, 12, and all of these uh, angles. Uh, are uh, 90 degrees and furthermore uh, OP is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle OQ is the radius uh, of this quarter circle as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius of this uh, quarter circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I have extended uh, this segment uh, CD all the way to this point uh, E. And as a result, we got this uh, rectangle uh, ABDE. And in this rectangle, uh, this side length uh, AB is going to be equal to this side length uh, DE. And likewise, uh, this side length uh, BD is going to be equal to this side length uh, a e so therefore uh, this side length uh, d e is going to be nine units whereas this side length uh, a e is going to be 16 and in this uh, next step i have connected uh, this center o with this uh, point uh, b and now we can see that this uh, o b is the radius of this uh, quarter circle let me label this uh, radius as our lowercase uh, r and now we know that this segment uh, AE is uh, 16. And now let's assume that this uh, tiny segment uh, EO is uh, A. Then this uh, whole uh, length uh, AO is going to be 16 uh, plus uh, A. And here in this uh, next step, I have connected this center O with this uh, point uh, C. And we can see that this uh, OC is the radius of this uh, quarter circle. So therefore, I'm going to label uh, this radius as lowercase r as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OAB, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 9, radius r, and 16 plus a. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call our longest leg as our side c. This side is a and this side is lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 16 plus uh, a whole square plus uh, b is 9 square equal to radius r square. And now let's recall this famous identity, a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square. I am going to apply on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore, this is going to become 256 uh, plus uh, 32 times a plus uh, a square. And then uh, plus 9 square is going to give us uh, 81 equal to r square. Let's go ahead and combine uh, these uh, like terms. So therefore, this is going to come uh, 337 plus uh, 32 a plus uh, a square equal to r square. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number uh, one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this another right triangle uh, OEC. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole length uh, CE is going to be the sum of 9 plus 12. That is going to become uh, 21. So therefore, our CE length turns out to be 21. This radius OC is uh, R and this side length uh, OE is uh, A. Now let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle uh, as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. So therefore, our longest leg uh, is going to be this radius uh, r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a, in our case, is a square 
plus b is 21 whole square equal to r square so let's go ahead and simplify this is going to become a square plus 441 equal to r square let me go ahead and call this our equation number two and here we are ended up with these equations one and two and now we are going to compare these two equations we can see in these two equations the right hand sides are exactly same they are identical so therefore we can equate the left hand sides as well so therefore we can write 337 plus 32 times a plus a square equals to on the right hand side we are having a square plus 441 and here we can see a square and a square they are gone so therefore we are ended up with 337 plus 32a equals to 441 let's go ahead and subtract 337 from both sides this is gone so therefore 32a turns out to be 104 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 32 so therefore our a value turns out to be if we reduce the right hand side that is going to give us 13 divided by 4 and now since we figured out our a value as 13 divided by 4 and now let's recall this uh, equation 2 to solve for radius r and here i have copied down this equation to a square plus 441 equal to r square and we know our a value is 13 divided by 4 so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, this a value 13 divided by 4 over here so therefore i can write uh, 13 divided by 4 whole square plus 441 equal to r square let's simplify that is going to give us 169 divided by 16 plus 441 equal to r square and here in this uh, next step i have multiplied this uh, 441 by 16 so we got uh, 7056 and divided 16 at the same time and as a result we got the same uh, common denominator so therefore i can write uh, 169 plus 7056 uh, divided by 16 equal to r square so therefore uh, our radius uh, r square is going to be equal to if we add on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 7225 divided by 16 let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our radius r turns out to be 85 divided by 4 so therefore we can write our radius r is going to be equal to 21.25 units so thus the radius of this quarter circle turns out to be 21.25 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye